All right, so I think we have our map. I yeah. mean, there's two bulges here. That looks a bit... Look at that. <laughs> it just looks like a penis. <laughs> go, my way. little minion. Go away. Yeah, we made just imagine some... you fucked up on the path and you collapsed and died. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Factory Town. Now this is an extremely alpha version 0.028 up the top. There's yep. a website there as well. I think it might be their website or something to do with their website. Yep, yep. Uh, Factory Town is basically, if you've ever, ever played Factorio, that doesn't really help the people who haven't played it, but if you've ever played Factorio, it's it's a very simplified version of Factorio. It's like a production management game, isn't it? Yeah. So start a game, it's a bit slow, and then it gets interesting when you get to being able to use belts and and shoots and automated stuff. So the goal is basically to make a town that's automated. Self, self-efficient, is it? Self-sufficient, maybe? Yeah, that's it. That's the word. I'm uh, Welsh. I don't know them words. Yeah, Steam link will be down in the description as well as the Discord. Our Discord will be down in the description too. Join now. Do it. So our intros have just kind of gone downhill at this point, haven't they? I think that was very fucking informative. <laughs> very informative. Uh, yeah, we don't know much about the game. I've played it a little bit. Not an awful lot to actually know what I'm doing. But we're going to start a new game here. Yeah. And you do get to choose the size of the map that you want. So if I zoom out here, so like, this is, oh fuck, nope, nope, that is not how you do things. This is a medium size, and then you got the large size, and I'll be fully zoomed out when it is large. Uh, regenerate, and yeah, the large size is considerably bigger. Yeah, shit. Yeah. So you also get loads of different terrains to start with. So this is the plains and rivers. I'm going to show you all of these here because you know people might want to know about it. This is the mountain lakes. Lots of hills, so it'll be handy for when you have shoots and stuff that go, like, downhill. Not that anyone's going to know what shoots are yet. <laughs> plateaus. This is the plateaus. That they're looks like, interesting, that They've actually got, like, proper, like, sheer cliff edges. I don't know how you'd actually be able to build your way up to these things. You'd probably have to place some houses down the bottom and then some up top, and you'll have to have separate sort of civs, civilizations of people. Yeah, doing uh, different that definitely things looks interesting. Together. So, Volcano Islands. So we've got what's supposed to be volcanoes. Yeah. Still an extremely alpha version. Just remember, extremely alpha. Yeah. yeah. Archipelagos will regenerate this one. <laughs> Archipelagos. Arca Archipel Archipelago. Archipel Archipelago. Yeah, we're good at this. Yeah, that's it. That word. <laughs> so this has a lot of resources underwater, and I'm wondering if they have a way to collect resources from underwater yet. Ooh, that's actually quite interesting. I'm not sure. Might not, but it might do eventually. Yeah. If it's extremely early alpha, yep, yeah, 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 maybe. Flat, probably the easiest map possible. Yeah, if you're a newcomer and you want to start and have an easy ride of it, flat is the one for yeah. you. Also, if you want to ensure that you can like maximize the amount of stuff that you can build on one map, definitely flat. But I do like the look of uh, Plains and Rivers. Just to start off with, maybe on, a, on another playthrough we'll do... Uh, I'd say go Mountain Lakes. Mountain lakes? This is like pure hills. You can't build shit on It's hills. not pure hills. It is! Look at it! It's not. There's no flatland anywhere. Go on to uh, plateaus then. That's got flatlands. And you have to work with your environment more. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Alright. I'm hoping that there's going to be a way to get down these things and up them. Right. There's auto place base. You might want to turn that off so you can select where you want to put that place your base to begin with. Okay, definitely a good idea. So we'll start with that, yeah? This will be this will be the map. You can all always regenerate a few times to see when that sort of fits your sort of needs. Alright, so I think we have our map. I yeah. mean, there's two bulges here. That looks a bit look at that. <laughs> it just <laughs> looks like a penis. Please yeah. insert picture of penis <laughs> in editing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this will be our starting area. We've got like stone, iron ore, mana. That's something I didn't expect. All the trees, food, and we can move along here as well if we can't actually get up to the top. I'm pretty sure you could probably use this. Uh, I think fine. you can make uh, steps and stuff. All right. But not until a bit further down the line, I think. Okay, so we're not completely closed in with this map, so this yeah. is the one that we'll use. So we'll just create and see what kind of town we can come up with. There we go, build base. Right, so you need to choose a location to place your base. A good location would be near trees, grain, stone, and much as much flat land as possible. Open the build menu, push B. Go of the building and base. So we already decided that around about this area. That's not actually classed as flat, is it? Yeah, it is. So around about this area, yeah? Yeah. In one of the balls? Or you can go up top. It's up to you. Okay, so we, we probably didn't pick the best of um, maps because you can't build on top of trees. You can't just like... But you can make paths going through trees. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, you, you can't build on top of anything. So we're gonna have to rely on paths a lot. Yeah, a lot of pathing, a big open sprawled out town, basically. Yeah. So we'll, we'll start like in the middle of the back of the shaft here. Uh, we start off with- <laughs> The shaft. <laughs> uh, that, that's not the shaft. That's the testicular area. No, these are, that's the testicular area. This is where the shaft starts to come so out. So what's that lump by your ut- That, that would be cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut that bit out. Why? <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad, dude. I'm fucking using it. Fuck you. <laughs> right, you got workers. Yeah, you need wood to build houses. But you want to get some grain and stuff on the way as well. So maybe set one to go and get wood, one to get grain. Well, maybe the, two to get wood. The grain isn't needed until we have houses, if I remember correctly in the last one. So yeah, you need wood to build houses. Okay. Harvest wood from trees. So basically you click on one and then you... What was it? You normal click? No, fuck. You right click and you drag over to where you want him to take the wood to, like okay. so. And then this will go away when that, when that's done. This is just, just we're gonna do, do the uh, tutorial to start with. It's going to explain the game much better than we possibly could. Maybe set four of your guys to go and get wood. Yeah, it is taking a bit of time, isn't it? Gameplay is quite fru um, quite fruity. I was gonna say, why is it fruity? It's a fruity gameplay. It's quite smooth considering it's still in extremely uh, 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 there. You are perfect with I, your words. I just died when I was spoken. <laughs> right, so it's telling us to build houses now. These houses allow you to hire more workers and you can also sell goods to them to earn gold. So we'll go into here, we'll build some houses. Um, right, placement will be key. So let's have a... Where would a good little um, residential area be at the start? Maybe like right up against the wall here? Yeah, as close to the wall as possible. So as close... There you go. So maybe we'll start with the uh, three houses. Oh. Two, I think two's fine. Two's fine. Yeah, we'll stick with two. There you go. And it'll allow us to actually hire more workers. So we've got four out of eight workers now. So yeah. each house gives us plus two workers. And they're, they're unhappy, but we'll sort that out later. So if I go back onto the build menu, I click on workers, and I can grab some workers. Uh, I can hire another four, so that's what I'll do. I'll just place four down here. Just doing nothing. Sleeping, basically. Roads. Yes, roads will be important. Uh, houses can be supplied with goods to earn gold and maintain happiness. Happiness provides a passive bonus or penalty to production speed. So I can set a worker to gain, um, to get grain for the houses. So oh, literally, you can have a straight path from the house to yeah. the grain. So I'll get this grain for that house. Okay. And I'll get this grain for that house. Yeah. Uh, that'll change, but for now I'm just going to make some paths. It'll tell me to make paths soon anyway. This here will make your workers run a lot quicker. So you see how slow they're going? Yeah. You should see them like speed up when they go on this, but there you go, you see him? Yeah. You like insta sped up. Yeah. I can't place a path on the grain. No, you just get it up to the grain, that's fine. But yeah, he's super speedy, super speedy. So now we've got to build a lumber mill. This here will turn the wood into wooden planks, which you need to upgrade buildings and to make other buildings. So building, building, thank you. Lumber, lumber mill. You're right, missing so three. Stone, is it? Oh yeah, shit, it requires stone, doesn't it? Right, you got two idle workers that you can go and get stone with. So we'll get these workers to go... Oh, that's mana. Oh, damn it. Stone's right next to it. I don't think... Can they get to the stone? Yeah, the ones in front. That's iron. Oh, is it? Mana and oh. air stone. But we've got stone up here. Yeah. So we'll get two of our workers just to grab some stone and take it to the base, like so. I like how when you hover over the building, it shows you every worker that's working on it. Yeah. It's going to be so much easier to keep things and uh, keep track of everything. Maybe set some more paths towards the stone and uh, from the house to your base as well. What's their path look like right now? They like walking along here, so that'll yeah. be where the path is. Footpath. Follow, follow that guy. Follow him. Oh, here's him. I think what they do, they automatically follow the road unless there is a quicker route off road. Yeah. So, yeah, as you see there, they're, they're following the road automatically. Which I like. I like the pathfinding that has been... Like like the fact that the pathfinding has been worked on like this. Yeah. And next is the lumber mill. So we should have enough stone now. I can't actually read eight. what number that is. It's eight. I need glasses. Building a lumber mill. So, yeah, this will turn the wood into wooden planks. Right, so you want the lumber mill. Close to trees. Yeah. I could do it, like, right here with these trees, couldn't I? You could, actually, yeah. Oh, hang on. Got some stupid herbs in the way. Yeah, no, no, I think it'll work if you rotate it. Because I know that we definitely want at least two. Yeah. So right here? Yeah, yeah, rotate it there, I think. Uh, another one straight next to it? Um. Double lumber mill, because I can't build it behind it. Maybe in front of it. In front of the other one. Rotate it like that. Yeah. What if we happen to, like, need a stone cutter? Oh, so our stone yeah. cutters can go here. 
if, if it's needed. Yeah. So yeah, okay, we'll build another lumber mill there and we will need to supply the lum lumber mill. So we've got like four people supplying wood to our main base, but I think yeah. what I'll do, I'll pause it now, I'll take two of these. I'll get you to take wood from that tree to that lumber mill and I will grab a second one here to grab from that tree to that lumber mill there. Quick production, right next to trees. Yep, yeah. uh, but the thing is, after that, we will need to have the planks usable, and to do that, we need to take it to the base. So, we're gonna take another one of these workers, so there's only one person collecting trees right now. Yeah. To take the lumber mill wood to the base, as well as one of these stone workers to take from that lumber mill to the base. Okay. Like so. We'll just let that do its thing until this changes. Micromanaging. Noodle's favourite thing, isn't it? I love micromanaging. I love trying to become efficient in these games as well. Well, uh, you like to become a fish. I, f I like to become a fish. Yes, <laughs> efficient. <laughs> Alright, so collecting them and upgrading houses. So now that we've done that with the wood, we'll be able to upgrade houses once we've got five planks for each house. Yeah. And their happiness on a, on a there plus There you go, one. you got five. And these workers have stopped. I'm assuming that's because... It's fuller. Yeah, it's full. So as long as you have one worker who's constantly doing this, it's going to constantly be giving the uh, plus one yeah. happiness when it runs out. So I can upgrade here. What was that? Ten. Ten gold, five logs. Five logs. We'll upgrade both houses, which means that the requirements to be happy have gone up a bit. Yeah. But zero is better than minus. And then every time you upgrade, you get plus two workers. Worker slots. Yeah. So, th this, this wheat is being sold to these houses, which is, every time that's happening, it's giving us plus one gold. Yeah. So we need to get ten gold altogether to upgrade the second house, which I want to do so I can hire more people without actually building a house. So we'll wait for that. I'm not going to lie, this episode's gone super smooth. Super smooth and th informative. Lucky that's getting cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's, the, that's both those houses upgraded. So that gave us an extra two per upgrade, so we can have an extra four people working. So we've upgraded the houses. Houses can be upgraded to increase capacity and accept more valuable types of goods. Upgrade houses also consume items slightly faster, so we'll get more money quicker that yep. way as well. So select a house, hit the upgrade button and bring plank to the house. Right, so you need a path then going from your lumber mill to your houses. You could always set one path and leave one uh, taking uh, logs to your main base. Yeah, we'll have one of the lumber mills taken to the main base. Or I'll have this one here taken to the house. Houses. Yeah. If possible. Straight across, is it? Oh, nice. It's a perfect fit. I like yeah. it. So we'll grab... Which one is it? Who's working? You. You're doing that. Right now, we'll just take to the one house. Uh, eventually, we get to make a market. Yeah. And we can just get this guy to, like, deliver to the market instead. So there you go. So yeah, there you go. Build market. It says build market. I could say build market again if I want to. Build market. Yeah. Market. So we want this here close to houses. So I'll just so read... So where, where are you planning to put some more houses? Well, this seems like the start of the residential area. Yeah. How far are... Oh, oh that's oh, that's perfect. That's you right next to the wheat. And you can uh, build houses around here, can't you? Yeah, the only problem is pathing. Because you can't build paths on stuff. You can build path through stuff, can't you? Not through these. No? No, it wouldn't let me place one there. Okay, well, if I don't like it, I can remove it, I think. So we'll place the market there. Anyway, I'm going to read it out so our people actually know what it does. So markets will automatically distribute goods to nearby houses. It's much more efficient than delivering goods to individual houses. When building a market, the potential supplied houses will be highlighted. So, like, the area around it that's lit up, yeah. that's, like, it will reach those houses. Oh, can you move it up one, actually? It doesn't fit there, does it? Oh, that's too far away from the houses. No, 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 I was talking about that way, yeah. There, it doesn't let me yeah. place it there. This building is blocked. Is there a tool that you can get rid of trees um, go on your menu because I know there's a tool for getting rid of terrain terrain there. terrain tool flat remove resources remove resources 20 gold perfect 20 gold is that per Every resource yeah, <laughs> oh, per shit. so what was it get rid of this one yeah you only need to get rid of that one I think it is and then you can move it up that one that you needed Definitely a good idea. Let me cancel this in case I like end up wasting shit. Well, that's a handy thing to know. Like, there we go. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, so you can perfect. fit a path you, through. Yeah, you can get a path through, and there you can go. get to either side as well, I think. And it reaches the houses. That's yeah. really nice. So, uh, we're gonna have to come up with a pathing thing because we're gonna want things to come from here. Yeah. To this thing, I don't think that the path to the houses matter that much. No. Because it automatically supplies the houses. So maybe a build path, footpath. From the back end of it, is it? Uh, Rotate the screen so you can see the back end. Yeah, I, I tend to forget to do that. Oh, you might need to remove two tr two more trees. So this terrain tool, um, so it helps you out with these sort of type of maps. 
Yeah, I would like to. I would like to remove all the trees around by one tile. Yeah. But for now, we've unlocked the ability to actually deliver stuff here. So I think I'll just do a kind of a squiggly path a little bit like this. Yeah. This, uh, this leaves room for like other stuff to be built, possibly some more housing. And what we do want, we want stuff to be delivered here. So bring grain, plank, and other goods to the market. So the people who are delivering to the houses now can start delivering to the market yeah. instead. So we got this worker. He can just start taking grain to the that. Market, yeah. Uh, we got this worker. Who will probably take... You could take wood right next from the houses if you needed to. Actually, that's a good idea. Or right next to the thing, even. So, straight from the tree to the house. Maybe have another one taking grain as well. Oh, we need somebody to take planks. Yeah, there's already a guy that's uh, taking planks to your base, isn't there? Yeah, but this here will supply the houses. Oh, right, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if I make him do that, like so. Oh, it's go. not going to change until I unpause it, is it? There you go. Right, so we've got grain, wood... Planks, all going to the houses. Do we need stone going there? I'm not entirely sure what it requires. It's, no, it just says planks and food for now. Okay. So maybe the wood isn't necessary. Yeah. So that guy doing wood, where is he? He's right next to the base he is. He's just running forth from yeah, there. Is. <laughs> he's just going to stand in one spot and do it. Yeah, he's, he's not even delivering the wood. Right, so maybe, yeah, you, I think you might have been right. Maybe just make it grain. Deliver to the houses quicker. So he's going to take the... Oh, that's cool. He takes the wood to where it should be first. Oh, he yeah. puts it into the base. And then he goes to do the grain. Ah, oh, sweet. So next, they want us to build a grain mill. A uh, grain mill turns grain into flour. Flour earns more gold than grain. It also provides more supply than grain. So houses will stay happy for longer. So... You do have four more slots for workers and you have 50 gold. That's I don't know if you need the workers yet. I will do. Definitely with the grain mill. It's a grain mill right next to the grain. Can it fit next to the houses? Oh, I can just about fit it oh, in nice. there. Oh, nice. Perfect fit. There you go. Grain grain mill goes in there. There's no uh, texture for the grain mill yet, but there will be eventually. Yeah. So what we will do, instead of just grain, because that's classed as food, is just food at the top right there. Yeah. All right, so instead of just grain being sent here, we're going to have... This guy is sending grain to the grain mill, and then this guy taking the flour to the market. Okay. Which will supply better food to these houses. And the happiness is a plus two at this point. That's cool. Uh, do we need any more workers for anything else currently? Or are we okay? I think we're okay. You're okay for planks, wood, stone, and food. Yeah, you're good for everything. All right, cool. So now we just got to wait for it to sell flour to the market, which I assume that's what this guy is waiting to do. Yeah. Right, so we've got to wait until all this grain is gone, apparently, before the flour can oh, be... there you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. So we sold flour to the market. I'm, I'm guessing that the houses have to use the flour before this goes away, because I had this problem last time. No, you haven't sold it yet. It's just um, stocking up yet. They're using the grain first. Yeah, so we'll have to wait until that's sold away. Yeah, so we'll just wait for that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, we just have to wait until we have 10 flour. There, it's just got sold as well. So now we can build a workshop. So the workshop lets you craft units and structures that can greatly automate your village, which is what we're all about. We want to automate as much as possible. Ooh. So the workshop is right here. It requires a bit of stone and planks and all that stuff. And the workshop is going to require all sorts of resources, isn't it? Yeah. So where do you think a good placement would be? Um, kind of central? It just about fits in here. I think maybe save that for houses because your market's already... Oh no, actually houses can go there, can't they? Yeah, I think the, ho the housing reaches this far, so we could probably fit another house right here. But this would be quite central. Yeah. Up here, so we'll rotate this and we'll place it there. It's not bad, it's not bad. We've got a path going past through here as well, so there's no blockages. And this workshop, it doesn't tell you there, it just tells you to build straight to barn, but we'll be able to build a wooden wheel, a cloth, co cloth Con converter. Conveyor. Conveyor, a book and cloth. How do you make cloth? I assume it'll tell us at some point. Yeah. But yeah, it's telling us to build a barn now, so barns act as a communal storage, so any items that you bring to a barn are usable by the player build actions. So it's just the same as a base, it just gives you extra storage capacity. Yeah. Uh, we don't really need one right now, I think. I think we're okay with storage, but it's the only way to progress through this uh, tutorial. T -t -t tutorial. So I think we'll go for a barn. There it is. Right, where do you want your storage area to be? I, I don't know. We have time to choose because we need 50 gold. Right, so maybe somewhere where there's not a lot of stuff that you can do with it. 
Yeah, basically the storage barn is just going to be for resources that we can use to plop things down. So it doesn't even need to be next to anything or anything important. Just close enough for resources to be delivered to it if necessary. Okay, what if you built a ramp going up to the top of the mountain somewhere where there's an open space that you're not going to really use? I think we might need to have a way to get up here first. Yeah, the ramp. All right, we'll jump straight to the ramp then and we'll do that. Block. Scaffold block first. Scaffold block. Oh, I see. Okay, and we want to get up to where now? Um, you need flat area. You can level terrain, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Okay. Um, just somewhere where there's an open space where you can have, like, a big storage area. Well, if you leveled that bit of terrain there, you could have a row of them up there. How would we get up here? You'd, um, have to build a ramp going up there. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we could build a ramp up this way. And then oh, place it in okay. front. okay. So, like that. Then like that. Uh, we're not going to make it. You'll have to level out some of the terrain as you're going along. You, If you put... Um, oh, no, you need it on the uh, side of the building. So if you rotate it and put it next to it, next to the building, you want it to go up the mountain like that then, don't you? Okay, I'll need to put another scaffolding block in here yeah. then. It's a bit of an odd path, but it looks fucking cool, doesn't it? It's definitely a good start. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. It looks pretty cool, like you said. And then up, 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 up. Look at that. Look at that. This is just a scaffold. Yeah. <laughs> up. There you go. Oh shit, is that good enough? Yeah, that's you're up. You just need to make a uh, level out that terrain now up there. Okay, Let's see if I need to build a bit of a path first. Footpath. Yeah, can you build it on top of it? Oh, nice. Oh, boom. Oh god, that's weird. Uh. You need to level that terrain okay, out. Okay, level terrain down. Not let me flatten it. Right, okay, so we've done the ramp up now, which looks really good. Yep, I totally, fuck, sick. totally fucked up the first time though, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, so we had to go back, level the train a little bit, and then build the ramp up again. Yeah, so it went out by one, just to give us the extra extra space to get up there, really. Yeah. So now we need to level the top off, but you need to level it to where the path is. Yeah, so we'll grab the level terrain tool. Only because the buildings are 3x3, three three, I think. So we want it to, this flattened yeah. kind of state, so if I just hold this in, like that. There you go, it'll, it'll flatten all the terrain nicely for me. And it'll also bring the trees down as well, to your level. Is it? Yeah. It's not allowing me to flatten any more over here for some reason. Oh, it costs gold, I think. Oh shit, it's costing gold. Okay, what a waste. No, um, it's not a waste. It's just work in progress. Yeah, that might need to wait before we can build the barn up there. So I think maybe just to start getting some more income, because everything's kind of slowed down a bit now, we'll build some more houses. Yeah. Because the houses mean more money. It also means more workers. I need to stop going down there. There we go. Building. House. So that, that reaches, yeah? Oh, it tells you if it reaches it or if it doesn't. Yeah. There we go. We build a house here. Perfect little fit. Uh, I think we can just like double up the path size here. Which way do we want them facing? Where do we want it? Um, like that, yeah. Like that? Okay, I want it to be even. Like so. And I'm just gonna, just for like my OCD purposes, I'm just gonna build in a little path here. Okay. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Path. Can, can you delete paths? Can you delete the original paths and move it across? Uh, you can, but it, it leaves like this dirt behind. Ah, right, okay. We'll just leave it as it is like that. I mean, not, not all towns have like the exact same size path everywhere, do they? No. So, I mean, there's nothing that we could... Well, we could build something here if we flatten the terrain. But yeah. that'd be like... You right. could probably fit another house. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll flatten the train here as well. How much does it cost to flatten the train as well while we you're at it? We shall find out now. Five, Five gold. gold per flattening of the terrain. So, bloop. Oh, it's not letting me... Oh, okay. It's right next to the building. If it's right next to a building, you can't flatten it. Well, can you raise it to the size... Um, raise next to it to the size of the building? Uh... Like to the height of the building? I don't know if that would be a good idea. Also, actually, if you build a house here, it blocks off a path from being able to come through. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. So chances are I'll turn this entire lot into path. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Just to kind of like waste some time <laughs> before we can build that barn. There we go. There we go. It looks nice. I quite like the color of the path. I'm wondering if you get different kinds of paths. Uh, your conveyor belts. Um, it would be cool if you could like build a stone path. Yeah. That'd be nice. But yeah, let's flatten the, flatten the rest of this damn terrain down. 
Just enough to like fit a barn down. That's, that's big enough. Yeah, I think you want to wait a bit though to see uh, where you want your barns placed. Because you want to fit the maximum amount along here you can. Okay, well it's going to cost some money to build the barn anyway. So that means more more waiting. There we go, we have 50... <coughs> mm, yeah, voice. We have 55 gold. We'll place this up here. The exit, which I didn't show you. Yeah, the exit is at the back. Which we're going to need for uh, belts and all that stuff. Yeah. Eventually, so I'll just uh, finish off a little bit of a path at the top here as well Also because we'll be building more barns along here. I might as well just prepare the path like that There you go So that's the barn built and it's telling us to now create a wagon So these wagons they uh, can move four items at a, at a time, but they can't harvest the harvest items So they're good to have um, to move resources from one like actual building to another building from, For instance the granary to the market. Yeah, because it'll pick up more than just like the one item at the time if it's needed Which then you can utilize the workers to do other stuff. Yeah, and they also require what worker capacity Was it just one for each yeah. cart? I believe let's have a look wagon. Yeah, it requires one worker capacity but it does cost 40 gold and you do need four wheels which reminds me we don't actually have anyone moving wood uh, planks to this thing here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna build a dedicated lumber mill because now we can hire more people to make planks for the workshop yeah definitely a good idea we we'll get this lumber mill I think I'll have it yeah pretty much right here do you think that's good uh, unless you got to give room for shoots and stuff from the back as well oh god yeah and a lot of buildings don't really have that right now um, I'd say next to your market next to my market Close to your market. He's got because whoever's doing that is gonna have to deliver to here. Yeah. And then they're gonna have to deliver the wood all the way over here. Yeah. So I'd say in front of the market, just up on the hill, about there. About here. Gives enough room and you can make a path in front as well, straight to the. Okay, so that's the back where the arrow is. No, that's the front. Are you sure? Yeah, the conveyor's at the back. See. Oh, so I've done it all wrong with this one then, because the arrow was pointing out this way. <laughs> ah well. well. Yeah, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. But yeah, we'll do that then. Yeah. Here. Yeah. There we go, and See, now... that's where it comes out the back, you see, I think. Or that might be the entrance. That's the entrance. I don't know. This is the conveyor area. Well, the conveyor can go straight out of there, then. Hey, that, that's fine, that works. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Let's, let's do a quick little path, because this guy is going to be working on just sending wood straight down to here. Yeah. Uh, and then again, I mean, nothing else can fit here for now. We can remove this later for when it's necessary. Also, we can't really fit anything else in here, so we might as well build path in here, too. Can't fit anything in the middle here either. Fuck it, path it all. There you go. Or in the middle here. I've gone path crazy. There you if go. If you need to, you might be able to fit a house this at some point. Yeah, if I lower terrain, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got to get ourselves a worker as well. We'll actually hire new workers at this point. Worker. Two workers would be good. So one to deliver the wood to the lumber mill, and then one to go from the lumber mill to this thing here. The workshop. The workshop. That's the one. So you collect wood to there. You deliver to workshop with planks. This here will automatically make the wooden wheels. So for every two planks that we get, we get a wooden wheel. And then we want the wooden wheel to go to storage. Now that storage is quite far away. Yeah. Does it tell you how much storage, like how much inventory you can have in a base? Should I be safe and just deliver all the wheels up to here? Because it's a slow, it's a slow thing being made anyway. Yeah, you're not in a rush for wheels anyway. Yeah. Are you? All right, so we'll get a worker. Just place you there. And if it's taking too long, you can always hire two workers to take them up anyway. Yeah, also this is going to be making quite a few things, so maybe having like the dedicated uh, barn for it would be a good idea anyway. Yeah. Even if it is quite far away. So there you go. We've got to watch go up the path. Go up the path. Go on, go up the go, path. Go, my right. little minion. Go away. Yeah, we made Just no imagine sense. you fucked up on the path and you collapsed and died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we made a, cool a game. Path. A game where you can't kill workers, Noodle succeeds. <laughs> yeah, I always find a way. Always. Like, I'm, I'm awesome at being a god, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's looking good. I mean, that's a good start. F10 is pause, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we'll take a screenshot after. Or at another point. Don't, because you might fuck up the recording. They did print, print screen. That's fine. Alright, so, yeah, good little town. This is what I'm most proud of. Yeah. Twinkie's idea. We're going to have a lot more of those, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. I do like that. And I, I'm quite happy with the selection of the map that we had as well. This is definitely going to make things more challenging. Having to, like, be cramped in everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm happy. And I'm loving this game. It's. I know that I said it's quite similar to Factorio, but it, it's not really. It's definitely very different and it's unique in its own way. It's. It's got a completely different feel to it. And it's, yeah. But it's got similar aspects to it's Factorio. It's got similar aspects, but it's incredibly different. 
Yeah. It's very fun. It's a good fun little game. And it's a lot more colourful. Very colourful and pretty, which is important apparently. But yeah, I'm happy with it. Yep. If you guys want the game itself, then we'll leave a link to... Is it on Steam? Yeah. We'll leave a link to the Steam page itself. And if you want to talk to the developer yourself, he's he's quite active in his in his Discord, isn't he? Well, wishlist it on Steam because it's not released yet. Oh yeah, it's not released yet, but it will be on Steam. But yeah, the, the developer is quite an active Discord person. Very, very he? active. Very active. So if you want to go talk to him yourself or chat with him at all, we'll leave the link in the description to his Discord and you can go ahead, talk to him, help him, give him feedback and support, ask any questions you want. Chances are he'll reply he'll reply quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, also, we'll leave our Discord down the bottom too, as well as... Well, that's it, really. Just like a link to our Discord. Big and thank you to the developer. Yeah, yeah, for letting us uh, have this game early and record it and get it out there. And if you all enjoyed, then please smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to share with your friends. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>